Hey guys, today I've got a really fun effect for you. Um, it's a carnival effect, and instead of explaining it, I think it's going to be a little easier if you just watch this performance instead. All right, so we're going to try a little something, sort of an experiment, if you like, uh, with these two items. We've got a one dollar bill, so you can see that's a, just a normal one dollar bill, and we've also got down here a playing card from a deck I was using a bit earlier, and I've just put a fold uh, down the middle to make it a bit easier for our art to do. If we wrap up uh, the this jack in the dollar bill, you can see if I fold it over, very easy. Um, you can see it's sort of face to face. You can see the backside. And if I do it the other way, back to back, you see the face side. Okay. Now that's the experiment we're going to be doing. It's sort of relying uh, on that. As I said, it's literally just a playing card and a one dollar bill. Okay. So that's what we're going to be using. Uh, let's let's try something quite cool with this. I'm going to wrap the jack up as I did before, and I'm going to fold it over as I did, just like that. Now watch the snap of the fingers. It's it doesn't act quite as uh, you'd expect. See if I push it through now, do you expect it to show the backside, right? But it's actually sort of warped. So if I pull it through now, you see the face side. If I try it again, back through, it'll warp back all the way to the back side. If I try it a bit slower this time, you might be able to see it in sort of slow motion. Watch. You see that it's actually face up again. And then if I push it back through, we can get it half and half even. Half face down, half face up. You might be thinking it's a special card or something, but if I just give the card a tear, you can see it's actually perfectly normal. So they fit right together. Very normal playing card. We've lost half of it and a perfectly normal one dollar bill. So that's what this effect looks like, guys. As I said, very fun to perform, a very visual, um, especially when there's that moment where sort of half the card is sticking out each end of the dollar bill, so you can see the front and the back of the card at the same time. It's a very visual, uh, visual moment for the spectator to uh, take home with them, um, especially if you can give them the souvenir. You're going to end clean and right tag the card uh, in half. Um, it's uh, yeah, it's really visual, really powerful, really fun effect. I use it in more of a throwaway effect instead of a standalone thing on its own, but I'll talk a bit more about that at the end of the video. Uh, but for now, we're going to be getting into the tutorial. So with that being said, let's get into it. So for this effect, you're going to need two things, uh, literally just a dollar bill and a playing card, that's all you're going to need. There is a slight bit of preparation that you have to do uh, to the card before you can make this effect uh, really happen, because uh, we have to make a cut in the card, right here. Okay, so it goes halfway across the card in the centre, so half the width of the card, just like that. Uh, you need to cut, so you can see that. Right now, so I can sort of fold the bottom half over and then fold the other half the other way, and that's how we get the effect we're going to be getting. Okay, so you can see how it works now. Um, but that cut, this slit right here, is the only one you're going to need to make. So to start, you're going to take out both of these objects, and um, it's the, it's obviously very important the spectator does not see this cut in the jack. Now, if you've cut with scissors, um, I've just got this on the table here. It's it can be quite difficult to notice sometimes. Um, if you got it bent up like that, I doubt the camera is picking up that there is a cut in this card right now. Um, but for a spectator who has a keen eye, um, it can be noticeable, especially if the if it's not really aligned like so. Um, so what you can do is bring the card out and hold it like this. So you can see I'm, I've got my thumb over the the cut and my index finger on the backside, and I'm just holding out like this. Like, no one is going to notice that there is a cut in this card now because you can't see it at all. Like, it's perfectly covered. Uh, they might notice there's a slight bend in it, but they won't really care too much about that. 
So I'm just hold, gonna hold the jet like this uh, when I start off my performance and then I bring the dollar bill out like this. And what you can do is you can also use the dollar bill for cover as well um, to show your hands are free and empty and everything and it's quite nice. So the dollar bill is extra cover but so you bring out both like this and you can cover it with the dollar bill and now the cut is hidden from view. So you take the dollar bill and you're just wrapping up the playing card inside the bill. And there's nothing uh, special that's happened yet, it's just exactly as the spectator expects it to be. Now you're going to show them um, that you can fold the card in half either way. Uh, so this is why I said having the fold down the middle might come in useful, because it makes it a little bit easier. If you haven't done that, don't worry about it. You can just fold the jack in half this way, and you say, so I can fold it um, so it's back side up and just try and make that fold a bit better. And then you just reverse that, keeping the card inside the dollar bill obviously, and show you can have it face side up. And make sure to have the dollar bill in the middle so they can see both sides, uh, makes it a bit more believable later on. And then you return it to this position right here. So as you've been doing this, you've just been telling the spectator uh, about how you're going to try an experiment with the two and it's about folding the card over, whatever. And at this point, what I like to do is I like to bring the dollar bill out like this, so it's fully extended. And I'm just, I just start talking about how it's a perfectly normal dollar bill uh, that we're going to be using and a playing card. Now this is cover for a secret move that's going to be happening as I'm doing this. So what we need to do is we need to get the playing card into this position. With your left fingers, you pull down and back on the bottom half. So I fold it in so it's face to face, uh, back to back, sorry, you can see the face side. And then with the top half, that goes the other way so it's uh, you can see the back side. And this is obviously how the illusion is created. Right, so when it's placed inside the bill, I fold it over, you get the illusion that was created in the performance. Now obviously we need to do this without the spectator realising what is going on. They need to believe that the card is just folded like that normally and obviously doesn't have a tear in. So, this is how that's accomplished. As I said, you're in this position, so you fold it over, turn the bill out, and it was in the middle of the card, right? What you need to do is you need to move the bill down a little bit, just like so. And this is where uh, the secret move is happening. What I do at this point is I use my left fingers and to my right middle, right ring, and th these fingers are going to contact this uh, bottom flap and sort of push it. And at the same time, my left fingers are going to pull it in. And this happens under the cover of the dollar bill. So that is what it looks like if the dollar bill wasn't there. It's sort of like this. Like that. And it shouldn't, shouldn't be making too much sound if you cut the card, as I said earlier because it can pass by without making much noise at all. So with the dollar bill there, you're going from here to here, put it down and you're pulling that across. And the spectator thinks the card is, is just normal but really you've put it in this position. Now you're ready to execute the warp. So continuing, you've just said uh, to the spectator how it's just a normal standard dollar bill and now we're going to resume the fold that, we'd, that, that we had before. So once again, you fold the dollar bill over and hold the jack inside. So what really if I was to push the card out of the bottom now you can see that there's nothing here um, because we folded that bottom bit over. But the spectator does not know that so we can carry on. It's very important obviously from here on in to make sure that the dollar bill covers um, the bottom. Don't let the jack peep out like that because it'll become obvious that the edge is missing. What I do sometimes is a bit a little convincer is if you tilt the jack like so, this looks fine because um, it, it could just be the edge could just be hidden here, and actually it looks quite convincing that it's normal because the the brain sort of just assumes it fills in this gap for you. Um, so that maybe looks a bit more convincing than that if they're a very difficult spectator, but don't do that obviously. <laughs> okay, so carrying on from here we need to do another fold. We need to fold uh, so the top half is face to face and you can see the back side. So you're just going to push everything over with your right thumb and do another fold and then you hold that down with your left thumb. So from here it's pretty much up to you how you want to reveal the warp in the card. What I like to do is I like to mix it up uh, like several stages of this. So I just say watch, snap my fingers and my first one I'll just usually uh, give it like a sharp push through. 
and that comes as quite a shock okay so I usually do that and say look and that you don't need to explain what's happened they can see um, so just leave it there that's just a nice moment for them to just sort of accept what their eyes are seeing uh, and then you can do it back so you can do it quick again or you can do it a bit more slowly whatever you like and what I do now is you can push it pull it up a bit so the entire half is showing um, so this is something you're gonna have to practice like judging how much you can pull it up so I know this is about as much as I can go because any more I need to see so we've practiced your ear to get that uh, dead on uh, but do practice that because it's a great illusion if you can pull it up a little bit more because it really does look really cool from here I like to go a bit slower on the second round so sort of up and down movement between your thumb and middle makes it look like it's sort of melting into the other half again you can pull it out a little bit and show and then for the final one I'll leave it half and half and that's a really nice illusion okay so they can really see that and you can show both, si both sides you can get the pip on it's a very nice touch and that's that so the ending really depends on you uh, it depends on if you want to save the card um, for a future performance or whether you're okay with sort of ripping it up giving it to the spectator as a souvenir so for the first option where you're not going to rip the card up and you're just going to um, sort of try and clean it up and put the card back in your pocket obviously you can't hand everything out for that option what you're going to do is you're going to unfold the bill so unfold it first like this okay and now we have obviously we need to unfold this section here uh, which is still folded up but to the spectator they think the jack is perfectly fine now what I like to do from here is I like to take my uh, left fingers and insert these uh, onto the back of the card like so and I insert them into this sort of gap between the two halves of the bottom okay so they're going right in there okay and what that does is obviously it forces the card to open back up at the bottom so I'm unfolding that and as I do that, so as I'm doing this, obviously the bill is coming around as well, it's hiding it up. So once again, you're in this position here, it's all folded up. Insert the fingers into that gap between the card, and then you can use your right fingers to pull out the bill and straighten out the bottom half. And then you can just say to the spectator, look, and it's just a standard bill. And then you go under the bill with your right thumb and fingers and they contact the middle of this jack on the tear and then you can strip it out and this happens and cover the bill so once again and it's just you go from here you say look and it was just with the normal bill and as you're doing that going under here gripping that just normal bill and a playing card and then you just flash both sides very quickly and then return to the pocket obviously do not let them see that otherwise the illusion is totally ripped alternatively you can opt for option two which is where we're going to tear the card uh, down the remaining bit here so obviously we've got the tear in the first half tear this bit and uh, that is the alternate ending uh, you can hand everything out for inspection uh, you end clean uh, it's a little more tricky to pull off however so to do this uh, it's quite simple there doesn't really need much explanation but uh, you finish obviously right here with half the card fishing out on each side so they can see uh, in the nice warp and then you're just going to grip both sides of the card and just basically pull as hard as you can and uh, the card will effectively tear in half once you're then in this position with half in each hand uh, I like to just unfold uh, both and then just show that they are matching halves um, you can hand them out for inspection hand the bill out for inspection and obviously you end totally clean with this method so I'm more of a fan of it um, especially as this, the, these can all be kept as souvenirs, even the bill if you're feeling generous. Um, and this is just a very nice trick for spectators to hang on to something. So that's that guys, quite a fun effect, really easy to accomplish, very easy to uh, perform and set up really. You can set this up on the fly if you need to. Um, so literally just head into a bathroom or something if you feel, the, feel this would go down well. Um, just take a card out, you can rip it. I know I talked about cutting it instead, but ripping it's fine as well. Um, and then just get a dollar bill out or whatever currency you have with you. Um, and you can go and pull this straight away. 
So as I said, uh, I use this more as, as like a throwaway effect, so um, I wouldn't use this as like a standalone uh, bit of magic. I'd typically use this um, sort of maybe in between tricks uh, or just if someone asks for something to see and I didn't really want to do a full blown routine and maybe something I'd, I'd just take out as just as a cool thing to show someone. Um, but that's just me, you can find your own uses for it I'm sure um, and play around with it because it is really fun to do. But uh, with all that being said guys, I think that's about it. So if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like, favourite, comment and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date with what's going on on the channel, because I've got plenty of more videos coming in the next few weeks and a really big project I'm going to be launching in August. We're very excited for that. Um, but if you want to keep up to date with all of that, my Instagram, my Twitter and my website are all going to have all the information you can uh, get. So links to those are down in the description. Uh, please do go and check those out. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you uh, really should do because you'll get notified when I release some new videos, which as I said, are coming. Uh, so hit this big subscribe button, uh, check out some of these videos because if you enjoyed this, you might enjoy some more of my content. But uh, for now, I think that's it. So as always guys, this has been Pretty Saturn and I'll see you later.